And um, I, last year I gave the keynote talk of the Semantic Web Conference and I, I made the claim that the, 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 the biggest problem we have uh, when it comes to semantic web technologies is some kind of a perception problem. In, in, in the sense that uh, people, people come to me and they say, oh, this stuff is so complicated and, 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 and this is so difficult and our, our RDF is too complicated and yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I think this is a, it's a matter of perception. This is not necessarily a matter of reality. Um, and some of you have, uh, have heard my story about how I can explain this to a seven-year-old. Uh, that all still holds. Uh, but this talk really was inspired by my experience this past summer. The object management group uh, ran a competition called the Semantic Augmentation Challenge, where they gave you a CSV file and said, how do you turn this into a knowledge graph? And it was uh, some kind of bank banking day. Uh, and at first I thought, yeah, I I'm, I'm not going to bother. But then on the last day, when, you, when, when there was still time to submit, I thought, well, you know, this is what I do. And, uh, and, and so <laughs> I spent an hour and a half, uh, uh, maybe, uh, and came up with a submission, and I, I, I submitted that. And uh, to my great surprise, uh, uh, some weeks later, uh, I got an email saying, uh, well, uh, congratulations, uh, you made the finalist uh, round, the five, five finalists, and uh, pl uh, please come and present your solution. And it literally took me longer to prepare the PowerPoint than it took me to prepare the solution. And I went and presented, and um, all the other uh, finalists, they were very nice work, uh, substantial work, uh, uh, very, very extensive work. And, uh, and the embarrassing part of this story is that I won. Because the jury saw it my way. This is not rocket science. This should be easy. You can do this. And so for the purposes of this talk, this is my definition of legacy data. So any data that's not RDF, uh, <clears throat> from my standpoint, is legacy data. <laughs> I know you're laughing, but uh, I'm, 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 I'm damn serious about this. <laughs> so uh, the basic premise is this. There's a lot of tools uh, for doing this stuff. The tools exist and they have existed for a long time. And the standards have also existed for a long time. And they're mature and now kind of with the help of a little bit of, little bit of uh, open source software you can uh, orchestrate a lot of things and make use of these standards and, uh, and, and seriously this is not rocket science. 